Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Proverbs 18, 16. A man's gift maketh room for him and brighten him before great men. So, yep, just looking to remember that we each have our own talents. So, this week. All right. I guess I'm going to jump right into it because I've got to put... I did all the consignment um, stuff that I had to do, and I have a um, video clip of that. So I'm gonna put that in first and get it over with. Here are the headbands and the cowls that I made. Okay, so all of these will be gone by the time that I um, record. This is a gift that I made. RJ picked the brown yarn underneath. I don't know if you can see that or not. And the pink, and that's a gift for his girlfriend. And then I had some consignment to do three or four headbands. And I did them as sets so that I don't have to have extra yarn left over. Headband, cowl, headband, cowl. And I'll just flip through them. I did five. They're doing it sight unseen for the yarn. So they, I was supposed to do three. I did five in case they don't like some of them. They don't have to buy all of them, but... You know how it is when they're doing it sight unseen. And then I've got this one. There's the cow for it. And then just a solid red one. Which I happen to know that red is their favorite color. So, um, like I said, did five sets. Those are done and off the hooks. And one gift. RJ just thought this was pretty cool. And it actually came out cute. I hate working with that pink stuff, though. Okay, so the order was actually for just the headbands to look pretty while they did um, chores. And so, I dropped my paper here. Uh, I just wrote up a little pattern here, measurements. Um, they wanted it like three inches across the back. I did it a little narrower depending on the kind of yarn I used and Anyway, so I made the headband, and instead of just having all these balls of yarn around, I came up with a, a small cowl, and that's what you saw in the bottom. They're just double crocheted. They are 4 inches by 20 inches, and then I whipped them together, and they make the perfect little cowl. Um, 20 inches long is about the right length for a cowl. Uh, it goes over your head. And it stays right in place. So, um, yeah. I used up all of those. And I don't have any scraps of yarn from any of those projects. I think I did good. Um, RJ is taking those to deliver those. So, they'll be delivered sometime this week. I don't know how happy they'll be with them or how upset they'll be. Um, they asked for three or four and I made five. <coughs> the pink one is not to be bought. It was an experiment. Archie thought it looked cool. Oh my goodness. I'm yawning. Sorry. Uh, it had brown worsted weight yarn underneath it. Like a... I want to say it's like a shepherd's yarn or something. Or fisherman's yarn. Anyway, and then I just held the pink right along with it and did it so I think it came out really cute RJ thought it was cute um, and I use that same pattern to make it so that is a gift for his girlfriend for Valentine's Day to go with his whatever he's doing he says that'll go perfect with my stuff I said okay dog good playing that squeaky is a dog toy um, the other thing that I have done and uh, I played a little yarn chicken and lost, but came out okay in the end. So, I also made Worm his jacket. And I've quit searching the internet for patterns because I can never find what I want. It's that simple. Um, so, again, I just sat down, drew it out. I know, I shouldn't do that, but it's just so much easier. So, basically, it's two rectangles with a cuff on top. So, um, yeah. 
here's the pattern and I just did it by measurements okay and this oops, centerpiece right here is this centerpiece right here let me see if I can so I make the back rectangle from this ribbing down okay and I actually start at the bottom and I always put a little trim on it like a little thing so I put this on there did up to here then I crocheted this little square so it just together here and here and then I just put a color on it and this actually fits him really well so um, that's his Valentine's one. now I had a little bit of yarn left over and I thought I'm gonna make me something to match him so I made a little headband which goes across my hair you know like so but I played yarn chicken I got to the last stitch and I had nothing to stitch it up with so I just looked in my thing and I had this little bitty ball of yarn this is going to be under my hair so nobody's going to see so I don't care it holds it together it doesn't look pretty but it works for me and it's mine it's not like I'm selling it or giving it away if I was selling it I would have ripped out that row and used that to stitch it together one row I don't know if it would have made that big of a difference I like it um, the only thing I'm finding is I did wear this one day and all that silver stuff is breaking and I had to trim off a lot of it and pull it through <coughs> so glad I didn't make one for somebody else with this because I don't like that that stuff is breaking we'll see how long this one lasts this is for worn for Valentine's Day will match at work so I do have to work Valentine's Day so him and I'll have little matching jackets um it is getting cold here so this will be perfect all right let's see here so I have gone to just doing this now I have another organization thing it probably doesn't go in right here sorry about the crackling it probably doesn't go in right here but I found an app or I was told about an app I didn't find it um, I heard about this app and I'm not using it the way that it was intended to use but it is called let me see here what is this thing called yarn crochet land let me see here yeah crochet land sorry and it has an app I don't know if you can see that it's kind of because of the eh, the windows block there probably right there you really can't see what's on my phone but um there's a picture of each project okay like right here and when you tap on it, it tells you wish you guys could see this there we go no <laughs> not gonna let me really okay so tells you how long it took me if you do it right I just put it in um, if you you hit the button start when you stop so when you it will track your total time you hit start and stop when you start and stop working on a project I sat down to crochet it took me two hours to draw up that pattern and do worms jacket and the little headband thing okay so all I did was type in two hours but what I am using it for um, is you can track your supplies you put in how much your yarn costs and then it also tells you what you should be selling things for okay but the part I like and this is what I've been using the most of is I can take a picture and take a picture of the piece of paper that I wrote my pattern on so I have all of his pictures that I took two pictures put them in there and then I took a picture of the paper that has my pattern on it so I have that one the ear warmer same thing it only took me like an hour and a half to do that one okay so it shows you I've got four but I didn't do it per project all of them are in there every time I use the pattern I put it in and then I have the pattern right there so if I want to go back and replicate something 
I've got the measurements and the pattern that I used. Um, I also have put in my fleece here. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to use it for time or not because I enjoy spinning. I, I don't really need to know the time, you know. Uh, and then I started with... Um, this is the first pattern that I put in. And I didn't put a picture of the pattern if I actually own the pattern. I only put a picture of the pattern if I drew it out myself. Because I tend to lose those papers. So, yeah. I've been tracking stuff that way. But, now, back to uh, this. This is the last project I've been working on besides spinning. This is my last crochet one. And it's getting there. I like it. Um, last Tuesday, I think I told y'all I went down and helped a lady at the farmer's market spin. She said that she'd see about getting me a um, consignment shelf. I think I'm going to use this one for my consignment shelf just because I don't have a plan for it. You know. So, oops. Um... I think that that is all I have uh, on t totally hooked in the baskets in the pot on the wheel I do have one bobbin done Let's see here I'm trying to one bobbin done of the wool now I have two pounds of this uh, I think it's Romney top or is it domestic I'd have to go back and look I don't know don't remember whichever one I'm working on first uh, I've got two pounds of it and I think I've done two eight ounce balls maybe if that um, I still have two half bobbins I did this one and then I've got two half bobbins that I'm doing and I will then Skin it off. I'm going to do the whole pa two pounds before I dye it. And then I'll decide how much yardage I want. I'll probably dye it in two separate colors. Um, we'll see how it goes. But no plans for that either. But I do have it on the wheel and I'm spinning on the kiwi. Still have the gray stuff on the traditional. But I did work solidly on getting those... Uh, ear warmers and and cowls done for a consignment it, they're paying me so that kind of is um, the other thing that I've kind of started doing and it's just to help my friends out it's not really a business thing um, but you know times are tough and so I'm doing anything and everything I can to pick up a little bit of money here and there um, I started mending uh, I have a friend that ha whose mom is really short, so she doesn't like to wear little kid clothes. Her inseam is 24 inches long. So I take adult pajamas for her, and I trim them really nice and hem them up, and she likes that. Um, she also has a tear in a jacket and in a bedspread. She sends a jacket and a bedspread with me, and I just tell her to pay whatever it's worth. Um, I work with her daughter, so it's not like, you know, but it is stuff that they want fixed, and it's better than them trying to, you know, Deb says she tries to whip stitch everything, and her mom doesn't like it. It doesn't look finished. So, I've taken up the sewing in that household, and a little extra money, you know. Um, if I want to go out and eat a pizza, that's 20 bucks here and there. Um, she also is, Deb is the one that babysat warm for me while I went, went on vacation. So that's, that means a lot to me. Um, I, uh, I just appreciated it. And so I've started doing this and she's insisting on paying. I'm like, oh, whatever it's worth. <laughs> so anyway, I have been doing that. Um, I haven't dyed anything in the dye pots. Um. I do have one little project that I worked on. It was for work. Um, 
at so veterinary clinics are still considered in the medical field and we do things at the office it's kind of just it's supposed to be fun um, it's just supposed to uh, relieve stress and that and being the CSR up front it's part of my job to decorate for hey 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 guys quiet they're not gonna listen today it's the weather's changing um, one of the things that we do is we have a little white Christmas tree but we decorate it for Valentine's and we put hearts all up and um, decorate the office and it really does look kind of cute we come up with different ideas um, so one of the things to get everybody involved is I took some felt and you know at Valentine's Day you got to give Valentine's right hey guys enough mom's recording go lay down inside voices um but one of the things that i did was i took and i sewed these little hearts together well ah, 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 ah. get you go to the den if you're gonna play like that warm turns around walks away so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it because this camera's there. It is. That's mine and Worms, and I just took two pieces of. I, I took one of those pieces of felt, folded it in half, and stitched a heart, and left the top open, and then I cut off the extra across the top so they could make a handle if they wanted to. I dyed mine and put Worm across it because Worm goes to work with me every day. Um, you can see that some of the others are. They're really talented people up there. We've got a ladybug. We've got roses. Um, one did hers in pink leopard print. Just. So these hearts are for Valentine's. And Worm and I. They're not all done. Um, there's 14 people I believe that work there. So we'll have 14 of these done. And then for Valentine's. Of course we're going to put all our little Valentine's in there. Uh, Worm is the first he's putting his in first to get it going you know um i think i'm just gonna go and buy candy bars like we have a list of stuff that people like and our hr lady has it i think i'm just gonna ask her what kind of candy bar does everybody like and i'm just gonna go get a candy bar and stick in each one um so yeah i uh if I don't do that, and I, I've thought about this, I'm going to go and get Rice Krispie Treats or something like that and put it in. Um, I don't know that I can keep track of who gets what candy bar. It's a problem. So, yeah. So that's going on at work, and I did bring mine home. I just put, I stitched all of them, and then I put glue around the edge of mine and glittered it, and you have to remember, I did mine first so that everybody else would do theirs. And then I put all of them on our break room table and I said, please decorate, you know, your Valentine's heart and put your name on it. Well, and then the next Monday, I came and put uh, Valentine's in them from Worms so they get the point. Um, they're all good sports. Um, one of the doctors she was ashley and i were there saturday and we kind of gave her a hard time so you have to decorate your heart you have to decorate your heart she's very very artistic it's she can draw i've seen post-it notes that she's done of birds that look realistic um she just doodles and she's amazing with her art um so anyway i was curious to see and saturday she hadn't done it and she's like no i haven't and ashley Told her, she says, you can't take it home, though. And I said, oh, yes, she can. I said, I did mine at home. Mona did hers at home. I said, you can take it home. So she says, that's what I'm doing. And she took it home. And she came back with her craft box and her stuff. And she was like, I'm doing my own. And now she won't let anyone see. And we're all excited to see, though. She's like, nope, not till it's done. So I can't wait to see what she's done with hers. Um, she's very much introverted. And so, 
I don't know. I just like that she's being crafty. Um, I like that she's going for it, you know? So, anyway. Uh, let's see, what else? On the wheel, in the field. Um, RJ's World, he was down here this weekend with me. Um, they worked on the truck some more. They got all the parts in. He's putting it all back together. We had a good meal. Um, he is putting on his roping next Sunday. So, he won't be down here working on the truck then. But, other than that, he's just trying to oh, survive the upcoming storm. So, it's supposed to, to get wintry, icy, nasty this week. And, he was moving hay around and getting stuff done and trying to do that. Um, so... That's about all that's going on here. And honestly, that's all that's going on here. Um, I winterized the rest of the windows on the north side, which has made a huge difference. You know, you don't think it does, but whoo, it does. Um, winterized that, got stuff done just around the house. Uh, all the chores are done. It's cleaned up. The only thing that I haven't done that we probably won't get done before this storm hits is I still have the fall decorations and the Christmas decorations in totes in the middle of my bedroom floor. I just walk around them. I can get to everything. You know, I do need to get them up in the attic or at least get them out of my room. But yeah, not happening right now. And knowing that to get in the attic, we have to go out in the garage, which is going to be really cold because of the storm. Probably won't happen with the storm going on either. Um, we did get in two truckloads of wood that we've ricked and stacked. Um, roommate went and got it. I unloaded it and ricked it. So, we've gotten things down to a little, how, you know, um, I don't know what you want to call it. A routine. We've gotten it down to a routine. So, um, we're going to be okay. We're going to get through this little storm and it is what it is. So... I hope you guys stay safe. I know that's not a lot of crafting. A lot of... Check out Crochet Land. Let me know what you think. That little app. Um, yeah. And like I said, I'm just... <sighs> Hitch has my shoe again. I don't know why, but he has picked up this little habit of carrying my shoes around. Anyway. So, uh, let me know what you think about Crochet Land. Let me know what you think about my keeping track of my little papers that way I have a binder but they're, these aren't professionally written up so I don't really know that I should put them in there I have some that are in a binder I don't know let me know what you think